Hi, everyone. Um, this is going to be part one of a series of videos that I will be talking about um, making hummus and math. So recently, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos, um, particular this channel um, called My Name is Andong. And what I love about his channel is that his videos, he not only talks about food, but he also talks about, um, you know, his travels. And because he's such a avid foodie, he goes out of his way to research all of this information before he presents it on his videos. So today we're going to be um, looking at how to make super smooth hummus. And here's our first step. You need to use dried chickpeas, not the canned ones. Okay. And we're going to soak them overnight. So overnight usually means like eight hours right because that's how many hours we usually sleep for some people maybe these days you sleep more so at 11 43 a.m i soaked one cup of dried chickpeas and you can see in the picture in three cups of water i placed those in a jar and you can see the chickpeas are sitting at the bottom of the jar and the water is just up to the level where the first ring in the jar is at 7 43 p.m same day i checked the jar I want you to project how much water do you think would be absorbed into the chickpeas at this point in time. Clearly, you can see that the volume inside the jar has not changed. So I'd like you to submit your best estimate for how much water do you think has been absorbed into the chickpeas at this time. Or you could figure out the other way around how much water has not been absorbed or what's remaining. I look forward to seeing your estimates on Google Classroom and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.